What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another game analysis video. This is the semi-final against Chattanooga FC. This was an amazing performance by our team. It went all the way to overtime and PKs, and I was one of only two people in the entire PK setup. I actually scored the technically the winning goal. I scored the first PK for our team, uh, and what a performance by the team. This was a fantastic, fantastic atmosphere. We played in front of 5,000-odd people uh, in, a, in a big stadium in Chattanooga, and uh, yeah, let's roll the film. Here we go. We'll press play. So we are in our pink and black kits going from le right to left, excuse me. Chattanooga is in their usual home blue, uh, and we'll roll from there. So ball comes over the top. Um, I am playing left wing back in a 3-5-2, as I mentioned in last game analysis. So that's kind of the plan. And then first little play here, um, get in and they call, and then yeah, good recovery there. So first play of the game, right? Um, ball comes over to me, little flick over header into our 10, who's able to get it over to our six. So good stuff there. Gets called for a handball, unfortunately, but that's okay. Okay, pause. All right, so this play, number 22 with the ball is their right winger. You could see me torch back. And I talked about this in the previous game analysis against LA Force, the sort of seek and destroy mindset of, as soon as I see one of my players in a 1v1, Again, within reason, and obviously it's, if it's on the right-hand side of the field, it makes no sense. But if it's on my side of the field, and our, particularly Moombi, my the captain and also our, uh, one of my closest friends, if he's in a 1v1 situation, my whole mindset is I'm going to go kill this guy with you. Like that's going to be our thing. We're going to go and we're going to double team him and it's going to be a whole deal. So that's the mindset that I think brought us to the final and ended up helping us win the final is that sort of killer mindset and killer instinct. And I just wanted to highlight that early on in this game film because I did a lot of that type of recovery runs in this game to slow up play and make sure they weren't getting the ball in dangerous areas in the wide sides, right? So we'll play. Good recovery there, and then we win the ball back. All right, little throw in, and again, I'm not gonna, I, I didn't include every single throw in or whatever. Um, great ball over from the keeper, and uh, flick on needs to be a little bit better into our 10. So that's just something to continue to work on. All right, here we go. So here's that, no, here's the, the other double teaming thing. So get pushed off, and then jump in front of the ball, make sure to block it out of bounds. So again, really making sure that um, that defense is good there. So here you go, recovery, here's, here's another guy, and then Kyle does a great job of blocking the thing out of bounds, but he had nowhere to go, that guy. And then here we go, see, we're getting, we're getting this play quite a lot. As you can see, then he has to play backwards, essentially, um, and then that's it, right? So they're not diving in, making sure that I'm in front of the ball, Little header into our 10, ball gets played out to Moombi, and then we go from there. Great ball again from Mike. Ball into our number nine, and we play out from there. So this game was absolutely chaotic in a lot of ways. Um, we did, we were able to keep the ball um, quite a bit, but again, semifinal in front of a ton of fans, great ball, oh, right over. That should have been a, that should have been a goal. Next one. Great ball again. Uh, they do a good job of kind of moving personnel around. And uh, here we go. So jump on that loose ball. Good opportunity. This was probably one of the best games I've ever seen any keeper play live, honestly. Our keeper was absolutely sensational in this game. And you'll see that in the PK shootout as well. Good combination play. Look at that. Really, really good work. Ball into the nine, and then this, okay, I'm going to pause. Okay, the nine, I think, has to play me here. Has to play me here. Because this is a situation where he is 1v4 in front of the goal, including the goal, or not including the goalkeeper, and he ends up shooting with his left foot, and it goes, like, way out of bounds. Um, I'm not mad at him for it. I know he's a striker. He's going to take those, and he's going to try to get those uh, those shots off, but... In my opinion, that's a situation where he has to play me the ball. Like I'm in wide open space. I can either cross it back post to our one of our tallest players, our center back running in back post, or cut the ball back for our number 10 who's going to be at the top of the box by the time I get the ball, right? So we'll play. So yeah, ends up just shanking it out of bounds, which I was pissed about, but whatever. Um, okay, here we go. 
going to take a touch forward. And I was just frustrated there. So, And then he kicks out at me. That should have been a yellow um, for sure. So I'm sitting there to the ref like, what the hell's going on? Um, I got a little bit heated this game. So. All right, here we go. A little bit of a longer clip, this next one. There you go. So win the ball back. Moonby grabs it. Plays to Kyle. Kyle's plays to me. Turn the corner. So that's that change of direction. And center back comes in. Great ball out to the right wing back. Good ball and just not quite there. Um, yeah, push in the back. Again, as I said, I don't know what it was about this game, but I just got kind of pissed at a couple different things. So that's all right. Not a whole lot of touches, though, in this game, to be honest. So now this is the second half. Yeah, so we're already in the second half. Great recovery here. Um, and I got called a foul, which I don't know. I don't think that was a foul. I still had possession of the ball, but that's all right. Drive forward, beat that man. Turn and play. Great possession play. Second half was much better, I think, because I got the ball quite a bit more in the first half. This is a fantastic ball. Look at that. Whoosh. And then we'll wait till it plays. And just needed to take that first time, I think. Good block by the left back there. Um, I got the ball a lot more in the second half, which was a little bit part of the game plan, but also like I sort of said to guys, like, please, like I'm wide open. And you could see in the way that we played, like I, I received the ball on that left side several times from Moonby, several times from a couple other players. Um, and we just were able to be a little bit more fluid, I think. Played a lot better second half, I reckon. So ball comes back to me, and then I'm just going to whip this in. Mm, not quite there. We had a 2v3, so it wasn't really in our odds, but that's okay. So drive forward with the ball, and then I'm just going to slow down because you can see their momentum is carrying them a lot backwards. Similar to the LA Force game, we're just going to keep possession of the ball. We're in a very comfortable position here at 0-0. Unreal Diag again from Jose. That's like the ninth time this season that I've been played the ball like that. Play it to our eight. Eight gets a shot off. Unfortunately, doesn't go. Um, this, I'm going to, that's just a tactical foul. I didn't feel like I touched him, um, but he's going to give me a yellow for that anyway because I've racked up a few. Uh, and, you know, again, so let's pause actually really quick. So that's just one of those situations where. Tactical foul, you can see the momentum of Moonby stepped. He was out of position. He lost that duel, which means that the guy that was flying past him isn't going to be touched. So I don't think I touched the guy. He cut in front of me. But at the same time, it's a tactical foul. So I get a yellow for it, and then we go from there. So realistically, though, it's not that big of a deal because at the end of the day, then they don't get a counter in behind both of us. Because if both of us are caught out, that's a really big issue. But I'll take the yellow all day if it means they have to sit on the 40-yard line and put a free kick in. Like, we'll take those all day, pretty much. All right, so we'll play. Yellow card. Little clearance out to our nine on the other side. Here we go. So I'm just going to play it backwards. Lots of little touches, lots of little touches. All right, I'm going to win this here. Just play. Play it again. And then again, we're just... And then gets a nine in behind the guy, and he's able to drive forward, which is great. Great ball from our six. Little one time. I was looking for Ali there, and center backs just do a good job of doubling him. They were putting a lot of pressure on him because he's one of our danger men, and of course he scored a ton. All right, drive forward. That ball, ooh, right for Ali. That was a good play. Um, again, taking players on. That's one of the things I talked about in the LA Force game analysis that I really wanted to do better. Little connecting passes. I'm sitting top of the box, just waiting for it, waiting for it. Nothing there, unfortunately. Again, they had so many players behind the ball, and we're in like we're in a great position. As I said before, when we keep the ball, I think we do a really good job of kind of pushing their team back, which was huge. Deep cross in a good location, but again, just not quite where we wanted it to be. And I got the ball again here on the sideline. Twos, get that third. 
and just, you can tell, oh, I was so frustrated by that pass. But good combinations out, and that's, you know, again, getting those moments is really huge. Ball back to the center back, and they only pressed with one guy, really. So that was kind of interesting. Um, yeah, it kind of played to our advantage, as I said about the LA Force game as well. Take the ball down. Play back to Moonby, and we go from there. Next, ball comes over to me, and I'm just going to drive forward, try to get in front of that guy. Good work there. Play the ball around to Ali. Center back does a pretty good job of uh, bodying him there, and then we just counter press, counter press, counter press. Here's overtime. So now we're in overtime. Um, let's see. We are going right to left. Hopefully the screen, there we go, changes a little bit. Um, turn and play. Oh, that ball should have been over the top. So that's just, again, late in the game. Legs are heavy. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. Vomit on a sweat. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Here we go. Great tackle. And then I'm going to get there. Bring the ball up. Drive, drive, drive. Put my foot on it. We get a little bit lucky here. Um, I probably should just go forward. It was just a miscommunication. Um, good corner kick, right in a great area. That was really good. Um, really good area of the field. Good ball by our center back over to the 10. 10 plays me through. And then I am on my bike. Again, really moving forward quick. Good movement by our, double movement by our nine. And we go from there. Ball comes out to me. Drive forward, make him commit, play the outside guy, and then he's got space to move backwards. So that's perfect. Here we go. So just following this guy, again, making him make a mistake, and then we double. You can see our defensive rotations are unbelievable this game. They really were. Like, this game was pretty fantastic as far as defense goes. Almost a perfect game, I would say. Not individually, obviously, but just, like, collectively as a group, that's really all that mattered. Okay, ball comes over to me, drive forward, play down the line. Again, our nine did such a good job of running in behind, and then center back does a good job here. All right, so I'm going to play short over to the right side to our number 10, who's just going to, he's almost like, he's not quite time-wasting, but he's very much like having a little bit of joy. He played for Chattanooga last year, and it was a big moment for him for us to beat them in the semifinal there. So that was good. Ball over, and we're like big throw, flick on. Um, we're like into basically PKs now. Here we go. All right, first PK. I'm just going to let you guys watch this. Good save by the keeper. Great save by our keeper as well. Here's my PK. Laser, stutter, no shot. See you later. Another miss. Good save, good tip by the goalkeeper. Amazing save by our keeper again. And then Ali with the winning PK. Here we go. Boom. Fantastic PK. And there we go. So in the PKs, that was like one of the most crazy games I've ever been a part of. Like you could see us celebrating in the corner. It's a very cool moment for the club being in the NISA final uh, after coming in, frankly, like way underrated. Like we were sixth in the conference uh, and just won our way out. And that was a pretty amazing experience for me and for the club and uh, really thankful for the opportunity to play in that stadium as well because that was a really cool experience from a playing perspective. Like playing in front of thousands of people is always really cool. And to be able to win like that and to score a PK, ice in my veins, you know how it is, like that's awesome. So yeah, really, really cool experience, 1-0 and we're on to the final. So that's kind of the way it's gonna go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that game analysis. My takeaways, one, one thing that I wanna work on is 
being patient. So this is not, you didn't see this much on film, um, or I guess you did through the frustration, but in the first half, because I wasn't getting the ball that much and I really was just doing a bunch of doggies trying to recover and uh, make sure that our guys felt protected with an extra guy there, I got really frustrated. I got really frustrated because I wasn't touching the ball. I wasn't having the impact that I want to have. And um, yeah, you could see that in the fouls. You know, I don't usually get cards that often. Like it's usually just tactical stuff or it's like, you know, whatever. But this, I definitely was carded for aggression in this game. And I think I deserved it because I was really pissed. Like it really, I was angry um, at halftime as well. And then as we moved in the second half and a lot of our tactics went, okay, now our goal is really to go left a little bit more than right. And we're supposed to, you know, we're, we're going to really start to move the ball well. Um, that it, it helped a little bit. And I think I need to be better at the mental strength piece of that side. Um, I would say the thing that I did really well was connecting passes, being dynamic in playing one twos from that outside perspective and really making things happen from like a connect, 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 connect perspective. So for, and then of course work rate, because that's one of the things that I think I do really well. So that's it. Like the video if you got value from it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see y'all in the next video.